Hi everyone, I'm glad you could be here. This is Watercolor in 5, where we're just going to go over some basic fundamentals of watercolor in 5 minutes, and it'll be an exciting, fun time just to learn something new about watercolor that we maybe just haven't uh, learned yet, or we might be forgot about it. I forget about things too myself when I'm doing my watercolors, and then I say to myself, when I look at my painting after it's done, I say, oh, why didn't I do what I learned 5 years ago from that book, or from that video that I watched, or whatever. So let's just have fun. Let's not get too uh, caught up. I just went back to my old uh, books here. I went back to my old sketchbook and I looked at a few paintings. So this is a painting I did, you know, a number of years ago. And you can kind of see how it looked. Doesn't it kind of look like a little faded looking? Like it's not looking too exciting. Like the colors kind of look faded and kind of washed out a little bit. And then I remember now this was uh, a painting I did and I, maybe I rushed a little bit, but I wasn't really kind of focusing in on needing to use better color, better tube paint. I was kind of just not really focused. So then a short time after that, here's another painting. And it's like, you know, within the same year, I think it was the same year, but I focused in on what I was supposed to on this painting. I remember that I was using more of the rich, beautiful colors of my palette with fresh squeeze tube paint. So I think on this painting, I got more of those beautiful tonal values, the darks and the lights with my paint. Whereas on this painting here, I, I lost control a little bit and I, I was just maybe using some dry paint in the palette and I wasn't really focused. So let's try to practice that quick idea of using fresh squeeze two paint. So how does it work? It's real simple. Um, I'm gonna get myself a brush and some water. I have a water container here with some water. So I use a water container with uh, water and my brush and I have my, my palettes here. So this will be a palette maybe in, years ago I would might have used where it was dry paint and you can kind of see if I if we try to use palettes like this where the paints all dry we're not going to get really good looking colors exciting colors we're going to kind of get a faded look sometimes muddy looking colors not so pleasant especially if we use if we if we don't keep our palette clean and we keep leaving colors in our palette like this. Sometimes we'll get, you know, some unpleasant colors. Sometimes we can use muddy colors like this in a painting, but not all the time. It's, you know, I would suggest keeping our, our palette more clean than this. So this is sort of what we all can do. And I used to do it a lot, not so much anymore, where uh, good habits are using fresh squeeze to paint like this here. So this is my palette that I use all the time, you know, on a daily basis with all fresh squeeze tube paint. And this is what years ago I might have used, and, and I know I did use this, where I just got more of that faded looking uh, paint and colors, some unpleasant, maybe muddy looking colors at times. So let's see how we can do this. Let's make sure we have our palette with fresh squeeze tube paint. And now we'll see what we can, we can, what we can come up with. Now here you can see right away using fresh squeeze to paint. Look at that vibrant, beautiful blue color we have there. That's, that's French ultramarine blue. And then we can also, what I like to do is once I put down some really fresh squeeze to paint right there, very little water, just fresh squeeze to paint. Then I rinse off my brush and leave a little bit of water in the brush, dry off a little bit of the brush on a tissue. And then with the damp brush, we can dampen that out and we can make a, a color and swatch like this where we have a lot more of a beautiful range of um, color whereas when we're using hard dried paint like this hard dried paint and it's not fresh and you know fresh squeeze to paint this is kind of up here what we're gonna have so it's much better to have an up uh, an effect like this and then we can just go into any of the colors maybe we'll go into a green so we'll use an olive green fresh squeeze tube olive green look at that and then we can rinse our brush and then just use a little bit of water and mix it out a little so you can see we got a beautiful range there of lights and that more high intensity color of the olive green over here like this and we can go in and do the same thing. Let's use a cadmium red.
And again, I'll rinse my brush, dry it off a little bit on a napkin, or on a paper, uh, tissue paper. And then we can do a little softening of the color, so we can get a full range. We can get a soft color like that. We can even add a little bit of maybe some rose matter in there. So this might be something like a flower color. More cadmium red. And as we can see, we get that really nice range of intense, beautiful color, which is from the Fresh Squeeze 2 paint, as well as some softer looking colors. And we can lighten things up by just adding some water. And so we basically, if we just use the hard dried paint in this palette, we're only going to be able to get this type of look to our painting. Whereas if we use Fresh Squeeze 2 paint and we keep our paints fresh, and if we have to, every once in a while, like every like once a week, we go in and we just add a little bit of paint. Here I have some raw sienna, so every once in a while, we just add a little bit of raw sienna to our palette for some fresh paint. And then we have, uh, we have some beautiful colors. Just like that. And that's much more exciting, right? All right, so we learned Fresh Squeeze 2 paint. We have to have that with our watercolors to start with. And we want to avoid hard, dried hard paint like this, where we're not going to get really good color. It's going to be more, you know, faded looking colors like that up top here. So if we want our colors to look exciting on our watercolor paper and our paintings and compositions, whatever we're doing, always remember your watercolor uh, paint should be fresh squeezed tube paint. You know, right from your tubes, you keep your tubes handy. I keep mine in plastic bags. I keep all my warm colors in one bag, like the reds and the yellows. And then I keep my cooler colors, like the greens and the blues, in another bag just like this one. And uh, that's about it. So I hope this was fun. It's five minutes, and we've learned some new ideas and techniques with watercolor. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.